Let's try this again. <sighs> it's Sunny Vega, SunnyVega.com, Sunny Vega V Sunny Vega TV.com, whatever the fuck. I don't even know, man. Whatever. What up, O'Connell? My man, Shano. Barbecue at Tay's house this Sunday for the World Cup, bro. It'll be just me, you. <laughs> me, it'll be me, you, and some barbecue. I'm thinking a breakfast buffet. This is what I'm thinking. Listen to me. This is what I'm thinking. Shano, let me know what you think. Breakfast buffet, right? Because it's an 11 a.m. start. I'm thinking French toasts, sausages, bacon, scrambled eggs, right? Eggs Benedict. And I'm thinking about a pig roast. Barube, are you, uh, I've been wanting to ask you this all week. Are you related to Craig Barube from the Minnesota North Stars? You're down, O'Connell? All right. Hey, B-Y-O-B. Bring your own bitch. And bring one for me, too. I shouldn't have said that. A few things I want to get off the top of my head. The Leafs. I got into a lot of trouble with that because I said, fuck the Leafs. Fuck the Toronto Maple Leafs. But I have reason to. They signed Tavares. Tavares. Whatever his name is. Right? They signed him. You know, I say fuck the Leafs. And I'll tell you why. I guess I should start eating this. But I already got my fucking. So I bought this cream pie. Key lime pie. But apparently I didn't know. I didn't read the instructions. You got to defrost it. Okay, I get that. Hey, Taylor. Um, yeah, I already invited people to come to your house for the barbecue. So I bought this uh, key lime. I keep saying coconut. I bought this. I can't see the chat. Hold on a second, man. Fuck me. Like, fuck, man. One second, guys. Bear with me, please. Like, fuck. YouTube. Let me see. All right. Wow, we're breaking the internet tonight. There's like fucking 1,700 people in the chat right now. Whatever, man. Hey, Meg. Asia Akira joined. Wow. I like Asia Akira. Listen. So look. Let me get to this quick. Because I only got so much time. Because Gabe's going to fucking kill me. But anyways. Listen. No, you listen. I bought this key lime pie. Okay. So it says you have to defrost it for six to eight hours. No, no, no. You defrost it for like two hours. It's so complicated. I can fucking bake a key lime pie uh, be, be, be before I read the fucking instructions. So you defrost it for like 90 minutes or something, but you need to consume it within six to eight hours. What the fuck is that all about? Really and truly. I did buy it on sale. However, however, I did spend money on it. Okay. So I'm going to fucking eat it. It could be spoiled. If you don't hear from me later, tomorrow, well, I've been hospitalized. So whatever. Mm. What are you having for dinner? I'm having key lime pie with a side of scotch. So listen, I'm sorry. I've been very busy today. So I'm going to try to do this and talk about some other hot topics going on in the world of sports today. Can I start with something? The Leafs, like I was saying, Tavares. Tavares. Listen. You know why I hate the Leafs? Fuck Babcock. Fuck Tavares. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. You know why? They broke my heart. Like an ex-girlfriend, she left me, they left me. Listen, I grew up playing hockey. Well, my pops was watching hockey. I was... 
I was that guy in the bed that Tavares uh, tweeted out that picture. I was that guy. I had socks, Maple Leafs, that my mom knitted for me. Me and Pops watch hockey religiously. Okay? Saturday night, I couldn't wait for Saturday night to come along. I watch wrestling. It was Maple Leaf Gardens or MLG Wrestling from 7 o'clock p.m. till 8. And I couldn't wait for the hockey game for Hockey Night in Canada. The Leafs were horrendous. They were horrible. I don't mean to be rude eating like this, but whatever. I will eat the rest of this pie by the time this little syndicated Oscar winning show is done. I better speed up. I can't do both things at once, but whatever. But listen, this is why I hate the fucking Leafs. You know why? Because they broke my heart. They broke my dad's heart. And near the end there, my dad, may you rest in peace. Near the end there, I just wanted the Leafs to win so he could smile. I broke up with them. It was a messy breakup. Well, fuck you, Trey. Russ Gortnall for John Cordick. I was so irate that day, I fucking remember it specifically. I told my mom, I'm going to Maple Leaf Gardens to protest this trade. John Cordick, rest in peace. But you trade Russ Cortno for John Cordick, really? Whatever, man. And now they're gonna, now they're gonna be good? I got pissed off when they hired Babcock, cause he's a winner, right? And they get Tavares. So yeah, I'm a little pissed off. Yeah, I'm fucked the Leafs. The pie is good, T. It's, it's not bad. I, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be in an hour or so, but whatever, man. There's money spent. No, no. Don't eat the Ziggy's macaroni salad. Don't. 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 Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, it's not going down too good. It's like McDonald's. It tastes good at first, but... Here, Meg. Like, fuck. I'm going to eat this within the next 15 minutes. Watch me. Watch me. Yeah, fucking dare me. Tell me I can't do something. Go ahead. I dare you. Okay. Meg, you put on a diaper. Maybe I'm already wearing a diaper, Meg. Whatever, man. That's my take on the Toronto Maple Leafs. They broke my heart. Growing up, they couldn't win a fucking game. I wish Harold Ballard, may he rest in peace. I was saying a lot of rest in peace, a lot of people dying. But whatever, man. I hate the Leafs. I hate the stupid crowd. I hate a lot of the Toronto, Toronto sports fans because why we always get tricked into this bullshit. Them putting on a fucking garbage team on the ice, field, court. Not so much the Raptors though. I, you know what? They're trying sincerely though. But the Blue Jays, it's bullshit. Three years ago, this girl blocked me from Twitter. Why? Why? Because I said to her, you trade Batista, and I forget who else it was, now. And she got pissed off, and she fucking blocked me. Why? 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 Why you blocking me? You stupid. Buy low, sell high. And what's Batista doing now? You want him to rest not in peace. Who do I not want to rest in peace? Jazz? Jazzy? Why is Taylor Stevens going to block me now from Twitter? Why? No, what the fuck did I do now? What else are we going to talk about? 
It's official with LeBron James. Oh, my stomach. <coughs> Man, fuck you guys. You're going to give me six to fucking eight hours to eat a fucking pie. But then, well, I can't talk and eat at the same time, Taylor. The NBA is official. <coughs> In the NBA, it's official. LeBron James signed approximately forty <coughs> million dollars a year. What was it? One hundred thirty-eight million. Where are my fucking notes? One hundred fifty-four million for four years. That's a fucking shit show. Really? That's embarrassing. Who's he got to play with? They ain't landing Kawhi. The Sixers are apparently favorite to get Kawhi. But then again, what the fuck does that mean nowadays, right? There's so many fucking rumors and everything. You know what? Gabriel was right. Gabe was right a long time, like three fucking months ago. The first time he said this was no one wants to play with LeBron James. And you know what? Fuck, man's right. I don't know. I, you know what kills me, though? Forget about that for a second. The guy fucking knows everything about fucking everything. The guy's a robot. He's not even fucking human. Politics? Yeah. Sports? Yeah. Batting? Yeah. Dude knows everything about everything. Gabriel Morenci. I like when he says his name in French. Uh, Gabriel Gabriel Morenci. I don't know. I'm not good in French. Actually, it's a it's a prerequisite. Is that a word? I don't know. It's a pre, you have to take it in high school here in Canada. Okay, up until grade nine, you must take French. Right. So what happened was this. In grade nine. The only reason why Mrs. Somerville, the only reason why she passed me, she said, look, Sonny, it was coming to the year's end. She goes, I will pass you. However, you have to make sure. What a fucking vomit. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. That's not me. That's not my manners. She said to me, however, look, <coughs> promise me that you're not going to take French in grade 10. I said, why? She said, because your, 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 your grade is so low that if you go into grade 10 with the next French teacher, I'm going to get in trouble for it, for actually fucking passing you. She's going to know what's up. That's what happened. Thank you, Jess. Thank you for the motivation, bud. If you can do it, I can do it. That's what happened. So she said, look, here's your grade of 51%. And fuck off. Don't ever take this class ever again. That's what she said to me. Make sure. Do you have, do, do, do I have your word, Sonny? I said, yeah. I said, <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's a deal and a half. I won't even, uh, I won't even look at a French fry ever again. Never mind, take the fucking language. Are you kidding me? Who's going to win the World Cup? Whoever Putin wants to win the World Cup at this point. I think everyone's in agreement. It's on that side of the bracket. It's tomorrow's game at 2 p.m. Belgium, France, whoever wins that game. Yeah, they are stronger. England wasn't supposed to be here. 
Croatia, they were. Actually, they were. Game Lou! My man. The nicest fucking guy. Very short time I met with this guy. But it was very fucking sweet. He had my undivided attention. We talked about real estate. We talked about gambling. We talked about bets. We talked about dogs. And then we talked about dogs again. And then you know what? We had a drink. And we talked about dogs again. I haven't met a nicer guy. Honestly. So what are you having for dinner? I don't know. With a key lime pie and a side of scotch. Listen, Russia had a really good tournament. There was no politics involved. There really wasn't. Besides the fact that, okay, they got into an easy division playing against people that were fasting. I get it. Yeah, no doubt. There was no shenanigans. There wasn't any. The thing for me is, where my money is at is one story. Who I really want to win, I'm a, uh, I really don't have a feel for any of these teams, to be honest with you. I can't identify with any of these teams. Growing up, my teams were um, Yugoslavia because of my dad, right? Um, the former, you know, Yugoslavia. Small, small country. Talented, but small country. Um, and Brazil, Brazil and Argentina with Pele and Romario and, you know, the Brazilian women with Brazilian waxes and carnival and Brazilian juicy asses. That was my team. Not the, you know, I'm a fan of a casual fan of. Now, I don't watch soccer every fucking day. I don't watch for fucking Bundesliga and fucking, and, but, Hey, you know what? I think I'm still allowed to have an opinion on soccer or European football or whatever the pronunciation is. Proper pronunciation. What is it? Spanish League? La Liga? I don't fucking know. But come Euro Cup, World Cup? I love it. It's great. And everyone can attest to that, I'm sure. It's been a fun World Cup. It's been very entertaining this summer. You know? Like I keep saying, it should come with a warning, though. All right, cigarettes, alcohol, they all come with a warning at the bottom, right? They're like, eh, do not consume while da 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 pregnant. Well, I'm not fucking pregnant, but anyways, you know what I mean. The World Cup should come with some kind of warning and say, if you're pregnant, uh, you, you should be careful on watching too much of this soccer game. Because that's what it's been. The penalty kicks. I cannot fucking eat this. Fucking, fucking smash it. I'm not gonna throw it out. I paid for it. I paid for it. There's people starving in the country. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw it out. Forget it. I feel like Homer Simpson in that, 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 that hoagie that time. <laughs> or the time he accidentally boiled his lobster. And then everyone at the dinner table was like, he, he, he wanted to give his lobster a bath. He forgot it was in the pot. He ended up boiling it to death. And everyone's at the dinner table and they're like, e are you going to share some of that with us? <laughs> no, Homer said, no, no. I forget the lobster's name. Or was it a crab? I think it was a lobster. And he said, oh, it's Pinchy, Pinchy. <laughs> and what did he say? What did Homer say, O'Connell? No, Pinchy would have wanted it this way. <laughs> oh, my favorite episodes. Anyways, as we proceed, listen, I asked the question, listen, we, us here in North America, most of us aren't that familiar with European football and soccer, but I asked a question a couple of weeks ago. I asked uh, Gabe, I said, uh, what's the equivalent to a quarter kick in the NFL. Now, we came to the conclusion it was like um, a first and ten in the red zone. A corner kick is. So now I got a next question. I was thinking, what's the equivalent of a penalty kick 
in the NBA. I grew up playing a lot of soccer. As a goalie and as a striker as well. I know it's not that easy, but you know what? It's mental. It's mental. Listen, that net is huge. What is it? It's 8 by 24 feet. So it's 8 feet tall and 24 feet wide. It's gigantic. Okay? And you're kicking it away from 36 feet. So think about it. 8 feet tall, 24 feet wide. And you're kicking it from 36 feet away. It's huge. Fly, I will swear, I swear, I will fucking knock your lights out if you come near my fucking pie. Okay? So, you know what? It is easy. They practice that. They practice that all day, all the time. Okay? But you know what the thing is that doesn't make it easy? Is the mental aspect of things. Right? What's the equivalent of shooting a penalty kick in the NBA? Like, look, the goalie doesn't have a choice here. He's got to decide left or right. Now, he might get a bit of a read on the player's past history, perhaps. Okay? He might know that and study that before the game. He might get a bit of a read on uh, on the kicker's approach, but very, very minimal. So, look. The keeper is basically saying, I'm going left or I'm going right. That's it. That, 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 it's not, you know, like a penalty kick in, in, in soccer is absolutely not the equivalent of a penalty shot in the NHL. No chance. No chance. We're talking about a net that's 8 feet tall and 24 feet wide. And that's why when a goalie, a keeper, when a keeper does save a shot, it's a huge deal. Because he's not supposed to. I'm getting there, Jazz. I don't know, man. What time is it? Oh, shit. I'm in trouble. Yeah. So that's what that is. But the equivalent, like growing up playing soccer, this was, this was part of the drill. Aim for the posts. Aim for the posts. Whether it's going to be left or right, aim for the posts. It's unsavable. It really is. So that's what we would do in practice. We'd aim for the post. You get it as close to the post as you can. Obviously inside of the fucking post. It's unstoppable. I'm turning green. Is that bad, eh? But listen, look. Let me leave you with this. We're running late. We're running late. My name is Sonny Vega. See me at SonnyVega.com, SonnyVegaVT.com. Hit the like button. Or fucking don't. I really don't give a shit. But listen, I'm going to leave you with this. You think about it. Tomorrow we'll chat again. And we'll try to find some more analogies. I mean, it's fun. It's thought-provoking. <sighs> ah. Oh, Fuck you, Jazz. Sorry, Jazz. Sorry. I didn't mean to say that. It was a knee-jerk reaction. The equivalent of a penalty kick in the NBA is a technical free throw. That's what it is. It's a technical free throw. With the game on the line. No, no, no. Technical free throw in the NBA. That's worth 50 points. One shot worth 50 points. And the player has to go select the ball from a rack himself. All the while, with the mascot of the opposing team yelling in his face. And the mascot gets to stand right underneath the rim. Yelling and doing whatever he wants. 
That's the equivalent. I, I'm not fucking eating this. Fuck off. <coughs> no, fuck off. I don't care how much it costs. I'm not eating this. That's my analogy. If you got a better one, let me know. That's what I think it is. A penalty kick in soccer <coughs> is the equivalent of a technical free throw in the NBA worth 40 points. That's what I think. If you have something better, let me know. Tomorrow, 2 p.m., Belgium, France. Big cookout and barbecue, Gamlu. Get your ass over to Taylor Stevens' house. She's hosting a big barbecue on Sunday for the finals. She's doing a breakfast buffet, and she's saying something about roasting a pig. I don't know. I don't know. DM her. I'm just... Hey, don't shoot the messenger. My name is Sonny Vega. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys didn't, I really don't give a shit. Speaking of taking a shit, I gotta go to the washroom by. <coughs>